Man, it ain't cold out. What the hell are you all bundled up for? Baklava, hoodie, all that bullshit. Yeah, it's really not that bad. But I've uh, been outside most of the day, so we want to stay warm. All right, so uh, you got to get out there and train on cold days. I would say especially on cold days we need to train. And the reason is, is that a very interesting thing happens to our body during a fight. Several interesting things. It's almost like you've been doped up on a drug. If you've ever been at a firefight or a fist fight, you know what I'm talking about, okay? You feel uh, the effects of that dope, adrenaline and glucose flooding your brain and your body. One thing at 115 beats per minute, we lose our fine motor skills. So, what does that mean? It means your hands feel like a really cold day where uh, maybe you dunk them into ice water and it's difficult to move your fingers. So fine motor skills are gone. That's why cold days are very good training opportunities. If we can manipulate our weapon well with that loss of fine motor skills, that is a, uh, a realistic approach to, uh, to training, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my experience. And everybody here has different experience, knowledge, and opinions. So what we're doing here is uh, training here with both semi-automatic and revolver. And I'm going to uh, show you why I, I recommend these for beginner shooters and those who are new to defensive pistol craft. You know, what should I carry? Well, carry one of these because it's easier to shoot. It's easy to reload. This is an expert's gun. This takes more training. All right. Uh, more skill. So, but this will make you a better shooter of this. So I'm going to shoot both. Uh, I prefer double action revolver, of course. Everybody's different. Everybody's got different size hands, different preferences. And uh, you got to carry what's right for you. So we're going to do a couple of drills here at about 15 yards away. We'll start with the semi-automatic. No gloves. Nice and cold. In mid-January. All right, today we're running the Glock 19. Way you make condition one, bring it into your workspace. Insert the magazine firmly. Come over the top. Gross motor skill versus fine motor skill. So insert over the top, push, pull, and we're in. All right, with a sticky holster, this is something that I need to get better at. I like to reholster when it's already in my, in my pants, but the correct way to do it is bring a sticky holster out in your workspace and then take the entire system and put it in your waistband. Okay, semi-automatic shooters, keep your reloads weak side so I'm a right-handed shooter right-handed I'm gonna keep my magazines weak side now whether or not we do bullet noses outboard or inboard is all dependent on how frequently maybe you turn your wrist as you come up all right so here we go we're gonna do five shot build drill from the draw as quickly as we can shoot it three seconds about 15 yards out hands are nice and cold here we go Okay. Yeah, man, my, my trigger finger isn't as smooth on that. And that's what I want. I got five shots on there, one left, and we're going to do a speed reload here after a headshot from the draw. Oh, here we go again. Sticky holster, put it in your workspace, reholster with the whole system. All right, here we go again. Headshot as quickly as we can execute and a speed reload with this magazine in my pocket. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to shoot a second round, so that's why I was a little slower. But with your speed reload, everything in your workspace with a magazine uh, that's as lightweight as a Glock magazine. These are just factory. You have to flick it out, grab that fresh source. For me, I keep bolting those as inboard, insert, and then to make condition one, we either slam the magazine home firmly so it chambers, use this slide release, which is a fine motor skill we lose during a fight or on a cold day. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. 
and I see people on my qualifications struggle with it all the time. So the best thing to do is use the gross motor skill, come over the top and rack to make condition one. All right, I've got five rounds left. We're gonna do all of that one more time with a weak hand and a weak hand reload. Okay, now this is gonna be all weak hand. So we're gonna put it in the same spot we usually do. And now we're gonna do a weak hand draw, a weak hand build drill, and a weak hand reload. Practicing with our loss of fine motor skills. All right, I wouldn't say they're completely gone, but my fingers are pretty cold right now. So here we go, let's see how we do on this, and then we'll score our target. Right hand on my head. my knees, head up, eyes up, grab that fresh source, rack it off the belt, okay, we're back in action. All right, so I fired a total of six rounds, we're going to check our target. The way I do a one-handed reload with a semi-automatic pistol is just how you saw. Keep it head up, eyes up, I'm going to invert that weapon, put it in between my knees, barrel down, then I'm going to grab that fresh source, insert the magazine, and then you're going to rack the slide with the rear sight off of your belt or if you're one of these homos that doesn't wear a belt then off of your boot or whatever the hell footwear you're wearing you need to find a hard surface to rack the slide off of that's why I think as a gunfighter important piece of gear is wearing a belt okay so let's check that target compared to the revolver all right so I dropped a couple here I think three to be exact I dropped one of my headshots my left-handed shooting sucked. Uh, and then we're about 15 yards away. So I would I would score myself minus three on that. So a 12-round drill, I'm counting nine holes. Let's see how we do with the 357. Okay, not doing myself any favors using a wood grip and also full house magnum lows. 158 grain, Fiacci. This is the 586. So I haven't shot it in a while. I figured I'd just pick this guy up. Between this or a K frame, I prefer the L frame. So make a concealed weapon. First drill is that build drill. Okay, it's still just as cold out. I had nine holes on that target, so we'll remember that when we score because I don't have any pasties. So here we go. Let's see how we do. Wow, the 586 has one of the smoothest triggers, and I love it. It's great. I don't know how good of a group that is, but uh, I think I shot some of them high. All right, now we're going to do that one head shot from the draw and a speed reload with my preferred speed loader. Is that Safari Land Comp 2. Easy to carry in your pocket. Don't need to turn the knob like you do on a... On a uh, HKS, although HKS works for me too. I just prefer this one. It's a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. Headshot on demand, and then a speed reload as quickly as we can. All right. Keeping that in your workspace, stress fire technique, gravity, and gravity. FBI technique would be the same thing, except we're taking it out here. Okay, now we're going to do that left hand only and see how we do. All right, important to remember, semi-automatic, we're keeping our speed reload weak side. Revolvers, we keep our reload strong side. Just because of the technique we use, we want to use that stronger hand for that dexterity, finer dexterity of getting the speed loader in. All right. Now, you can carry them opposite if you want to, uh, and that would be helpful in this drill, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to have to cross over to get that reload. All right, here we go. We can only, we can only build drill and speed reload from concealment. Here we go. Alright, 
Now we put that in our belt or in your pants. Head up, eyes up. bit harder to do on a cold day right that's why we train let's go take a look at that target the 586 distinguished combat magnum okay so 20 minus 9 is 11 which means i only dropped one off of the target it wasn't like the best grouping though i have a couple like this one down here i'm not going to count that but it hit paper uh, my head shots were good i gave him an ear piercing on one of probably the left-handed um, but I did better with the revolver, uh, just by, just by a little bit. Um, but you know, look that, that, and you guys can see it. It's a, it's easier to reload under stress. You're semi-automatic. Me, I'm just a prodigy. I, uh, I prefer the wheel gun, so I train with it a lot and I want to be as fast as I can with it. That way I can trust my life to it and, and with confidence. And that's the point of this. Okay. If you want to commit yourself to the revolver you got to train with it it's an expert's gun it takes a little bit more practice i think and a little uh, definitely a lot more skill uh, to master that double action and the reloading techniques whether you're using a stress fire technique whether you're using an fbi technique or if you're using the keep the gun in your strong hand technique whatever it is speed strips of course and reloading uh with loose rounds, two by two, whatever it is. All of that's a lost art. Uh, but either way, get out there and train. I hope you guys uh, can take a class uh, at some point, whether that's advanced training, personal, one-on-one uh, -on -one time, uh, private instruction, or a North Carolina concealed carry uh, permit class. Uh, anyway, get out there and train on cold days.